Alright, right, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops here at Great Millstone who rule and who teach well. Peace and salutations to the hopefully let, to the Akim out there on the highways and byways, making their bodies a living sacrifice that the scriptures ordain you to do so. I want to say Shalom to you mighty brothers as well. Continue to fight the good fight of faith. Also continue to spread the good news, which is the gospel spread across the four corners of the earth. Shalom to you mighty brothers, man. That's risking your lives and your freedom. All right. <clears throat> Shalom to the aqua that's out there listening and learning in silence. Reverencing your husbands if you have one. Seeing you too have to fight the good fight of faith. To stay under subjection and obedience under your husband to the best of your ability, man. All right? Seeing that these times are going to be more perilous, man. You're going to need a man of the Lord, man. All right? And the Lord is going to make a man more precious than fine gold, man. <laughs> okay? When you go into that word precious, it goes into what? Valuable, man. Which means what? We're going to be the true high-value man, you know, upon this earth, man, where the currency will be wisdom and faith, you know, from the Lord, man. And the, from the fear of the Lord. Okay, that's going to be the new currency. It's going to be the new thing that's most valuable on this earth, man. Okay? And you sisters out there that don't have a man of the Lord, all right? Pray and beg that the Lord, that sing you a man of the Lord, man. Okay? And with this particular video, video man, okay, we were on, we understand, you know, today is the, the day of atonement, man. There's a certain, um, uh, 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 mindset we supposed to be in you know within within this day man seeing that the lord you know this is a day you know that the lord you know gives us to atone for our sins man you know where in ancient times you know which we, we're going to get into it in, in the book of leviticus the ancient times you know we were to offer up yearly you know an atonement you know as a sacrifice you know for our sins man and at the time you know, what, what we sacrificed was, you know, a bullock, you know, a lamb, mm -hmm. you know, of such of some such, such sort, you know, something without spot or blemish. OK. See, but now and today, you know, the Lord is dealing with us now to where, you know, he's not, you know, accepting any type of uh, animal sacrifice or any type of sacrifice of that matter, man. Yeah. Because now what we are the sacrifice, man. Seeing that we used to sap sacrifice into the temple, man. Okay, but now our our bodies is the temple, man. This is this is how we make, you know, our sacrifice, man. And we show the Lord, you know, how truly re repentant and sorry that we really are, you know, for disobeying and and transgressing the laws, man. Oh, man I got a quick you Come, you got it. Go ahead. This is First Samuel, mm -hmm. fifteen, chapter fifteen. Let me get that. <clears throat> First Samuel 15 and 15 in y'all. And verse 22. Okay, go ahead. You got it. It says, uh, it says, and Samuel said, have the Lord, have the Lord as great delight. Where you in, at? First uh, Samuel 15. And, first Samuel chapter 15, verse 22. Oh, verse 22. Okay, God. Kind and says, and Samuel said, have the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings mm -hmm. and sacrifices. Mm -hmm. As in obeying the voice of the Lord, mm, behold, to obey mm -hmm. is better than sacrifice. That's it, man. And to hearken than the fat of rams. So just like the brother said, the Lord is not concerned about um, a physical sacrifice. He's mm. concerned about your your body and your actions being your being your sacrifice. That's it, man. You know, because you can sacrifice, you know, a, a, a burnt offerings or a ram or goat, whatever it is, and you can t continue to be the same old nigga, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord. It, it, it is it's dealing with the inward man, you know, and with, it, with your intents. So the Lord understands, you know, your intent on why you're doing certain things, man. Right. That's why it's important for you to, for us to, you know, have ourselves as a sacrifice, you know, see, because now you can't, you can't, you know, you can't, you can't shab the Lord on, on your sacrifice with it being yourself, man. Now you have to, you have to change. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Now you got to make your body a living sacrifice in order for you to change, man. Right. You see what I'm saying? Real talk. It's easy for you to just offer up something and, and, and kill yourself. I mean, it's like you can kill something, you know what I'm saying, as an offering or a sacrifice unto the Lord. 
but would you do that for yourself? You know, and that's the question, man. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Lord, you know, didn't find it uh, uh, beneficial anymore, you know, for you to sacrifice a lamb or a goat. You know, why kill? Why kill? Keep killing the lamb and the goat. Well, you're going to continue to keep, keep sinning, man. Right. You know, because that's ultimately what the Lord wants us to do is to stop sinning. Now, it's impossible to, to not sin within these bodies, man. You know, roughly paraphrasing the scripture say, man, if a man sin or think he's not sin, man, he fooleth himself. Roughly paraphrasing. You right. see what I'm saying? You know, and with these bodies, man, we're going to go off, man. All right. We find ourselves worn within our, these bodies, man. Worn what? With the spirit and the flesh daily, man. All right. But it's the fight that the Lord wants us. You know, wants to, wants to see, you know, through the intent of your minds. And he wants us to change, man, to become what? That new creature. Okay, yeah, so the Lord is not, he's not off, he's not uh, accepting, you know, uh, we might as well get that too, uh, Romans 12. You know, uh, he's not accepting, you know, no longer, you know, the sacrifices of bullocks or goats or, or, or lamb, man. Now you have to, you, you got to show the Lord that you mean well by making yourself a living sacrifice. All right. Uh, let me get that. You got it out. <clears throat> 12 and 1. This is Romans chapter 12, starting on verse 1. Mm -hmm. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, mm -hmm. that you receive your, your salaki, that you present mm -hmm. your bodies a living sacrifice. Yeah. Holy acceptable unto the most high which is a reasonable service hey, it's a presentation you know that you offering up again you know to the lord man and the lord has to see see that presentation uh, or whatever you sacrificing as worthy man yeah. if i made the mm -hmm. best way i can explain it is you auditioning for a part or a mm -hmm. team or something like that Come. <laughs> and you you doing your own thing you're going through the motions like mm -hmm. That being said, I know brothers go through the motions sometimes just because it's part of being human, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get lackadaisical, you do doing your own thing, but you got to keep you gotta keep your eyes single. You got to remember why you're doing this in the first place. That's it, man. You got to understand, like you say, man, it's like going out for a movie role. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not going to go in a movie role, you know what I'm saying, uh, pretty much, you know, uh, uh, being a slugger or lazy, you know, and not putting no action behind, mm -hmm. you know, the words or the script. You see what I'm saying? No, you're going to put life behind whatever character you're playing. You know what I'm saying? Right. Shit. And, and that's what the Lord want to see, man. He want to see your vigor. He want to see your intent. You know, he want to see that what you, if you really want the kingdom of heaven, man, what you going to do to try to obtain it? Right. You see what I'm saying? Are you just going to continue to be a nigga and don't change and think you could be the same, you know, uh, person that you was within the world? Or are you going to change and renew? Like what we reading right now, you know, are you going to conform to the world, or are you going to uh, transform yourself, man? Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, you can go ahead and get the second verse. Uh, Romans chapter, chapter 12, verse 2. Oh, Slakia. You know, like like it said, man, it said, uh, which is a reasonable service, man. Mm -hmm. Meaning it makes sense to serve the Lord and make ourselves a, a living sacrifice. Why? Because the Lord, you know, sacrificed himself for us. You know, and and what what's the scripture say? What say, uh, what, you know, uh, there's nothing else but, but a, a man lay down his life you know, for his own brother, man. You know, and that's what we what we doing, man. We sacrificing our lives for our brothers, man. You see what I'm saying? For the brothers that's like minded. You know, not just any brother. You know, hey, the Lord wants to see that reasonable sacrifice, and it makes sense, man. All right, the Lord ain't looking for a sluggard, or He's not looking for somebody who's just gonna sit on their ass and what what the scripture say? Uh, lay hold that uh lay that napkin, you know, saying under the bed or whatever. Yeah. And not do what he's supposed to be doing with the talents that the Lord gave him, man. You know? Now, now you just uh, now you the living sacrifice, man. You got it, be I got the word reasonable for you. Con, what is, what you and, got uh, in Edamon. Let me get it in Edamon then, which uh huh. No. You got it. It says, uh, found a few of them that come on mind. Mm -hmm. The first one says rational, seasonal, sensible, mm -hmm. uh, full of common sense. Mm hmm practical that's it same same yeah. <laughs> right reason. yeah hey, shit. so if, if this is sane being reasonable then you got a hell of a lot of unsane motherfuckers out there man <laughs> you see what i'm saying because you know they don't reason you know and who are we reasoning with man we reasoning with the lord man that's why the lord said man come reason with us man with the prophets you know with the word with you how it's shy because within that reason, it's going to make sense. He's, with the way the Lord put things together, man, it's going to make sense, man. 
And it's a and it's in this it's logical sense. It makes logical sense to follow the Lord, man. And if you're not, you know, coming to this grips of following the Lord, man, then you're insane. <laughs> you're pretty much insane. You got it out. Uh, you want me to uh, continue on the road? You was done on this? Yep. Okay, come. I can maybe I probably get one more. Okay. This is uh appropriate, suitable, mm -hmm. fitting. Uh let me see. Inexpensive. Mm-hmm. So really ain't none of us. We just gotta do our job. That's it. That's it, man. You know, <laughs> hey, man, yeah, because you know, like I say, is the, the the be in the mindset of repentance, you know, or penance. We gonna get that word too, penance. Not now, but we can get it uh -huh. uh, when we bring another scripture out. But you know, hey, that's the mindset the Lord want us to be in, in a, a, a broken and a contrite spirit. We can get that too later, you know. But uh, we can go ahead, go back, you know. Did, we, did you read verse two on this one? And uh, Romans? Yeah. Yes, sir. Matter of fact, no, I didn't. Yeah, let's read that. And then we can go back to Leviticus. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. You got it. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Yeah, you know, the Lord wants us to be transformed. You know what I'm saying? Meaning changed, man. By renewing in your mind, man. When you go into that word renew, let's just go into it. You know, I like to always go into this, man. You know, because this is what... You know, the Lord ain't coming for, for no boy, man. You know, he coming, he's coming for men, you know, because men accepts responsibility, accepts accountability. All right. He, a, man, a man, a true man knows when he messed up. Mm -hmm. All right. A true man know, you know, when he, when he uh, uh, slip, slippeth, as the scriptures say, you know. So this is what the Lord is coming for men. He's going to have men fight his battle, man. All right, the flock of his pasture is men. So we have to be in the mindset of growing up. All right? So when you go into the root word of uh of this word, it goes into what? It says to cause to grow up, new to make new. New strength and vigor is given to one. You see that? I will just go ahead. You got it. the other root word mm -hmm. re uh and the Edomon, it says back to the original place. Back to the original state, bro. <laughs> you know, and that's what we ultimately fighting back to get to, you know, back to our heavenly estate, man. That what we fell from in the beginning, man, when we when we slept with the daughters of men. Mm -hmm. All right. This is the state that we're we're trying to get back to, man. We've been trying to get back to since the garden, man, since Adam, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Since Adam, we've been trying to get back to this original state, man. That's beautiful. You brought that out, man. And in that state, guess what, man? We were grown up, man. Right. You know, hey, we, hey, that's just what it says. It's to cause to grow up, man, to make new, man. All right? Like I was explaining to a couple of the brothers, man, uh, there's this video, you know, about this snow leopard. You know, and this, uh, this old, old snow leopard, man. This old snow leopard was, was pretty much comfort, comfortable, but he don't even understand. He finna die. He on the verge of dying. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So he didn't want to hunt no more. Okay, he didn't want to play no more. He didn't want to work out no more and be, you know, and, and do what he's supposed to do to stay in shape. But it not not until that 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 the uh, the owner put in a a young snow leopard. Okay, and that young snow leopard was still in the old snow leopard's uh, uh, food. He was uh, sneaking up on the old snow leopard man and scaring him and, and pretty much, you know. So the old so the old snow leopard, you know, pretty much the 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 young snow leopard. You know, brought him back to life, man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So the old snow leopard started to, you know, hide away from his food. You know, hide his food away from the young snow leopard. You know, pretty much the um, the young snow leopard gave the old snow leopard life, man. You see what I'm saying? And this is what the Lord has done for us, man. The Lord, the Lord has given us, the Lord has given us uh, 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 brothers that's old in the faith and brother that's young in the faith, man. All right, and we need both each other, man. When it when it comes to this truth, man, yeah. you know, we need each other, man. We need the young ones for the for the for the youth and the strength, and the older ones for the wisdom, man. Okay, and that's the Lord setting this thing up, man. We also ultimately we need this truth to keep all of us young, <laughs> you know, because within this truth lies immortality, man. All right, and this is what we're longing for, you know, for those new bodies, man. All right, we go ahead. You got something? Go ahead. Uh, definition and renew and the Edomon. Ooh, let me get uh, that. Renew. Yeah. Con, go ahead. 
it's one uh, definition I want to get out. It says, uh, restore a mm. living thing mm. to a vigorous or a flourishing state. Wow, it's beautiful, man. You know, and, and that's, you know, that's that immortality, man. And that's a life without sin, mm. you know, because we don't understand the, uh, the, the what the wages, wages of sin is death, man. You know, and this is the reason why we die. Mm -hmm. You know, it's because we have sin. All right? And these bodies, man. Okay? The, the creature was made subject to vanity. Not willingly, man. Okay? But at the end of the day, man, hey, man, we, we need that new life. We need to be renewed, man. And this truth is the only thing that can do that within these bodies. Mm -hmm. All right? That's why I say renewing your minds, man. Okay? That's why the scriptures say you should know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Now, now we're free from the philosophy that's in the stronghold that this world had upon us, man. All right. Now we became new again. And, and, and eventually the Lord is going to make us new all the way, man, and whole. Mm -hmm. All right. So we can get back to this uh, Leviticus. Come on. <clears throat> Yeah. Mm, let me see if I want to start at one. No, we can start at 29. Huh. Okay, you got it. <clears throat> this is Leviticus chapter 16, verse 29. Oh, well, uh, like I wanted to say, man, you know, um, not to cut you off, but uh, yeah, uh, this is, we going, we in uh, atonement right now. Well, this is atonement for our sins, man. You know, so what we doing now is just giving you, you know, the background uh, on why we celebrate the atonement, you know, yearly. You know what I'm saying? Because we're in the land of our captivity where we're rehearsing the righteous acts, man. All right. And we're, 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 we're trying to be near and dear to our Lord, seeking the Lord, you know, 10 times more. So we're rehearsing the righteous acts. You know, even though the Lord, Yahweh Shai is our atonement, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He atoned for our sins, for all of our sins and his. All right, once. You see what I'm saying? That's all it needs to be, man. But we are rehearsing the righteous acts, you know, while we have this grace period, man. So you got to be going. Con, this is Leviticus chapter 16 mm -hmm. and 29. Right. And this shall be a statute forever unto you that in the seventh month, on the tenth day of the month, you shall afflict your souls and do no work at all, whether it be one of your own country or a stranger that sojourneth among you. Right, whether it be someone who, you know, who was, uh, 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 as the New Script, as the New Testament used to say, uh, like to say, the circumcision and the uncircumcision, mm -hmm. you know, the, the Jew or the Greek, you know, whatever it may be, one who grew up in the, you know, in the, in the Law, Statute, and Commandments, and one who did not grow up in the Law, Statute, and Commandments, or didn't grow up in the, in the customs, or didn't grow up in the land, you see what I'm saying? Or, sir, you know, he sir joined back to the land and made that homage back, you know, to celebrate the atonement or the Passover, or whatever holy day it may be, you know. Right. You know, so this is what this is saying. And when it says you should afflict your souls, meaning you should fast. OK. And this is like a, a Shabbat to where you do no work at all. Do not no survive work. You got to be, bro. Come on, Leviticus 16 and 30. Mm hmm. For on that day shall the priest make an atonement for you mm -hmm. to cleanse you, mm -hmm. that you may be clean from all your sins before the Lord. Right. And so, you know, this is an actual physical repetition that used to be, you know, uh, that they used to do. But now what cleanses us now is what? The word, you know, the washing of, uh, of, of, the, of the water by the word. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, get that too. I think that's in Ephesians. Washing of the word. Uh, washing. Washing by the word. I think that's what it is. Yep. Ephesians 5 and 26. Come on, let's get that right quick. Ephesians 5 and 26. Let me get it in there. Uh, hold on. Ephesians 5. Okay, you got it out. Let me see if I can start a little bit earlier. Yeah, no, that's straight, yeah, straight to the point, yeah. This is Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 26. Mm hmm. Get 27, too. Verse 27. Mm -hmm. It says... No, get 26 and 27. Got it. Mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26. Mm -hmm. that, he may, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the 
of water by the word. Yeah, you know, and that that's washing of the water by the word, man. Okay, so so the word is what cleanses us now, because guess what? It's not cleansing the outer man anymore. You know, back then in the ancient times, it used to cleanse the outer man. All right, but this time we needed something to cleanse the inner man, which would be the word. And we know by John, in one, you know, the word is what Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, so the the word is what washes us, man, which is Yahweh Shai. He's what cleanses us, our inner man. Our inward man. This is because that's what needs to be clean, man. Our minds, our ways of thinking, you know, our conduct. That's what needs to be clean, man. Okay? You got to be, bro. Uh, verse 27. Verse 27. Ephesians 5 and 27. Mm -hmm. That he might present it to himself a mm -hmm. glorious church. That's it. Not having a spot or wrinkle mm -hmm. or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish you see that you know and that's your mind that's the renewing of your mind okay because in the temple you know the temple which is our body you see what i'm saying what lies you know the temple within our minds and our, is the spirit man and that's your it's like your intentions and your spirit and your mind has to be cleansed man <laughs> what they call it brainwashed mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying literally man All right you know but spiritually, man, we have, to, we have to be washed again, man, and become whole and become new once again, man. And the only thing that can do that is this word, man. Yeah. You know? You want to say something? Or, oh, no, all right, know. we can go back to uh, to that Leviticus. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is Leviticus chapter 16 and 30. Mm -hmm. Yeah, verse 30. Mm -hmm. It says, For on that day shall the priest make an atonement for you to cleanse you that you may be clean from all from all your sins before the Lord mm -hmm. it shall be a Sabbath of rest unto you and you shall afflict your souls by a statue forever that's it man like I said afflicting your soul man is is, is when you're fasting man all right and we here at Great Millstone we fast you know without any water nor any food man okay and, and that's what we do, man, to show the Lord, you know, you know how serious we are within this fast, within this atonement, man, you know. And it's not to go back to be the same person, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, because you don't fast just to go back to be the same nigga, you know what I'm saying, that you were, you know, before, man. We, you, you know, right. yearly and daily, we, we must grow, you know. We got to grow in this thing, man. All right, let's get, let's get that in Isaiah. I think, where is that, Isaiah 57? 58. 58, you yeah, got that? Okay. yeah. I'm gonna get it. I wanted. To, I really wanted to get it in the GNT. Uh, uh, if you can, I got you. Man. If you can pull that up, and we can read that. Start verse what? GNC. Uh, we can start at verse one. Uh, give me one second. Hey, bear with us as well, too. You know. Okay, we gonna go all the way down to verse eleven. Con. Uh, Isaiah 58, start at verse 1. See what that say. Con. This is Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. In the GNT, it says, The Lord says, Shout as loud as you can. Mm -hmm. Tell my people, Israel, about their sins. Mm -hmm. They worship me every day, claiming that they are eager to know my ways and obey my laws. They say they want me to give, give them just laws and that they take pleasure. And worshiping me right you know and this is our people man they do uh worship and honor the lord with their lips it say he say but their hearts are far from him man you know and this is what we need the atonement for man to change for the lord you know to give us his word so we can change man the inner person mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying and that's why we out there in the highways and byways man we going out there crying out you know sparing crying aloud sparing not man lifting up our voice like a trumpet and showing our people you know their sins Okay? And we're showing them, look here, you're going off on certain things, man. All right? And they need, they need, you know, a, a way of, of uh, somebody telling them that they're going off, man. Mm -hmm. In a place where, you know, where uh, sin is acceptable. <laughs> that could be a video. You know, sin is acceptable, man. You know, in this world. Life. It's the way of life in this world, man. All right? But, but the Lord has, has made us, you know, uh, holy and acceptable. You know, and, and a royal people, man. And we are to be holy and separated from all other people in the world. And what separates us? What separates us 
from everybody else on the earth, man. Hey, it's our laws, man. What governs us, man. You know? All right? You got it, big bro. Con. Isaiah 58 and verse 3. Mm -hmm. The people ask, why should we fast if the Lord never notices? Mm -hmm. Why should we go without food if, if he pays no attention? Hey, right. Because you haven't changed your inner man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah, the Lord is not going to notice a fast. And then next thing you know, you right back to the same old nigga, man. You see what I'm saying? That, that, how you know somebody is truly sorry and how it's truly repentative of what they've done is what? They're going to try their hardest, man, not to do it again, man. They're going to feel sorry, repent, and not to try to do it again, man, to the best of their ability, huh. okay? And eventually, they're going to practice at it to the point where, you know, it becomes, you know, obsolete if that's what the Lord wants, man, okay? But that's why the Lord is not honoring your fast. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. The Lord says to them, speak up a little bit. The Lord says to them, the truth is that at the same time you fast, you pursue your own interests and oppress your workers. You see that, man? Hey, this is what they do, man. All right? And they try to look high and mighty in front of, you know what I'm saying, everybody. Else. But you oppressing your people, man. All right? You oppressing the flock, man. You adding more burdens on your people, man, that, and burdens that you won't even do, man. That's why Yahweh Shah said, man, hey, do what they bid you to say, you know, do what they say, but don't do what they do. All right? Because they're being hypocrites, man. Okay? You got to be, bro. Con, it says, uh, Isaiah 58 and verse 4, it says, your fasting makes you violent mm. and you quarrel and fight. Do you think this this kind of fasting will make me listen to your prayers? You see that, man? And the Lord is telling you right there, man. You know, you quarrel and fight. You know, the Lord is not going to listen to the, uh, because that's being a nigga. You showing, you know, the, uh, the example of a nigga, man. You showing an example of a two third of somebody that's in the world. Hey, we understand the Lord called us out of this world, man, to this what? Marvelous light. Okay. We are children of the light, man. We are not children of the darkness. Meaning what? We are not in the ignorance, you know, as other, as others are, man. We once were though. And the Lord saw favor, you know, to, to, to deliver us up out of that, man. So we can't show, we, we can't do the same things that we used to do, you know, when we was in the world, man. Okay? Go ahead. Verse 5, Isaiah 58 and verse 5. When you fast... Slocky, this is in the GNT as well, too, Slocky. Go ahead. Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 5 in mm. the G GNT. When you fast, you make yourself suffer. Mm. You bow your head low like a blade of grass mm -hmm. and spread out sackcloth. And ashes to lie on mm -hmm. is that what you call fasting mm -hmm. do you think i would be pleased with that right you know why because they're trying to you know be men pleasers man Outward. they're trying to, yeah and they're trying to yeah they're trying to make you know others believe that they're more holier than what they are man what's that in matthew 6 yeah let's get same, that right yeah oh, let's get that right quick huh? <laughs> it's and, the same way we're doing uh alms mm -hmm. in front of people yeah public. yeah let's get that right quick matthew chapter 6 uh then we can come back to that uh, you know I mean, because that's our people, man. You know, our people, you know, do that, you know, do that type of, uh, you know, trying to show themselves uh, uh, more holier, holier than what they really are, man. Uh, we can start at... Uh, you want to get the arms or the prayer one? No, nah, we can get the fasting one. What it say? Uh, I think it's 16. Yep, wait until fast. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Con, it says, uh, man, just right. Yeah, that's it. Okay, verse 18, I mm -hmm. think. 16. Let's start at 16. 16. Yeah. This is Matthew. 16 to 18, I think, I believe. Con, con. Mm -hmm. This is Matthew chapter 6, starting at verse 16. Mm -hmm. Back in the KJV. It says, Moreover, when you fast, be not as the hypocrites <laughs> or as the. Or a, a sad countenance, mm -hmm. so like a sad face, or mm -hmm. yeah. looking like you loathe it. Yeah, you showing everybody, you showing everybody, and you letting everybody know. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That you're fasting. You letting everybody, you know, because it's a game to you, man. You know what I'm saying? When really, the Lord say you do things, you know, you worship Him in secret. You roughly paraphrasing, man, He gonna reward you what openly. You see what I'm saying? You know, but you're doing it, you know, to show yourself to be holier than what you are, man. You know, when really it's the inward man the Lord is, you know, uh, is coming for, man. It's coming to change. Can I get that in, LT? Come on. 
This is Matthew. Well, let's, let's read this first, this whole thing first, and then you can get it in NFT. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 17. Mm -hmm. Be thou when thou fastest, anoint. No, no, no. Uh, thou, so you're like still at 16. In the middle I of I showed it. didn't finish. Mm -hmm. I might okay. just start back from the top. Yeah, it's okay. Go ahead. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 16, mm -hmm. back on top. It says, moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites mm -hmm. of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces. That they may appear unto men to fast. <laughs> That's it. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. They got their reward, man. You know, they got their reward, and their reward is what? For somebody else to think that they're holier than what they really are. Okay? <laughs> you know, but that's all they're going to get, man. They're not going to get an answer back from the Lord, man. Cloud chasing. Cloud, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got it out. Yeah, cloud chasing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 17. But thou, when thou when thou fastest, mm -hmm. anoint thine head and wash thy face. Right. You know, hey, you just do it like you regularly get up in the morning. You wash your face, anoint your head, whatever it is. Wash, you know, and appear as if, you know, nothing is, you know, it's all the same. But what? On the inward, on the inward, man, you really, you know, fasting and you're really, you know, trying to show repentance unto the Lord, man. Uh -huh. You know, you feel sorry for, for the sins that you've caused. You know, uh, uh, and your transgression against the Lord, man. Okay? Nobody really is supposed to know. Except for the brothers that you would probably, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. Because they on the same accord. Right. You know? So we strengthen each other, you know, with this word. All right? But other than that, man, you know, hey, no. If you're going to fast, man, nobody should really even know. You know? Go ahead. <laughs> Matthew chapter 6 and verse 18. Mm-hmm. That thou appear, so lucky, that thou appear not unto men to fast, but mm -hmm. unto thy father which is in secret. That's it, man. And thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. That's it, man. The Lord's going to reward you openly because he's seeing that, you know, you sin. Because it's all about being sincere. All right, brother. You know, it's all about being sincere, man. You know, and we're not sincere in this thing. We, you know, we, we got to be sincere uh, in this thing, man. Desire the sincere milk. You know, <laughs> with the desire to sincere word, man. Huh. Okay. You know, because that's what the Lord is looking at, man. He's looking at somebody that's sincere about this thing, man. He ain't looking for somebody who's just trying to, you trying to please other mother, men pleasers and shit, man. You know, excuse my language, you know, but it's just, it's just it. You know, we rude in speech, but not in knowledge, you know. But nevertheless, man, you, you, you showing yourself to, you know, to, to fast and, and, and in front of men, you know. So the Lord, you got. That's why the Lord said, "You got. They got the reward." But if you do it in secret, the Lord is gonna reward you openly, man. You know. Come, can we get these last three verses? Come. That pretty much going to what you were saying. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter six and verse nineteen. Mm -hmm. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, mm -hmm. and where thieves break through and steal. Mm -hmm. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, mm -hmm. and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Right, you can't you can't break through and steal through the spirit, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? See, you know you can stock up all the stockpile up on all this damn, uh, 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 this food, these waters, you know, all this, you know, candles or whatever it is, you know, these uh, what they call it, uh, doomsday, doomsday yeah, prep, doomsday prep. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But all that means nothing, man, if you ain't laying up your uh, treasures in heaven, man. You know, uh, digging in the scriptures and and, and, and dwelling in the scriptures and, and the spirit, man. You know, and seeking the Lord. That means nothing, man. The Lord giveth, and guess what? He take it away, man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And and just like that, man, we, we don't want the Lord to take our Holy Spirit from us as well, too, man. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? That's why we have to be sincere with a contrite spirit, man. You know what I mean? Because guess what? That's what matters. That's what's going to be the new currency. The faith, the wisdom, and the Holy Spirit of, of the Lord, man. That's in these perilous said. times, man. You got it. So the Spirit, you said it. Because I, I want to bring up verse 19 and 20. Because, mm -hmm. uh, like I said earlier, cloud chasing. Come. And like I said, uh, what verse that was that? They already got the reward. Come. Yeah. So at this point, they want to be famous on this side when the Lord said, it. he going to give us fame. <laughs> Gone. Yeah, yeah. He said, this is not our rest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And this this, this is what lets you know the mindset of, the, of these motherfuckers too, man. You know, they they they, they have their consolation, man. They got their prize. Like you say, they got their reward. Mm -hmm. You know, you're trying to uh, lay up your treasures here, 
you know, and this with all this is shit that you see is going to be burnt temporary. up. It's temporary, man. You know, the, it's, it's in your best interest, you know, and I beseech you, you know, that you lay up your treasures within the spirit. How you do do that, man? You di you dig within the, within these scriptures, man. You know, you be, become brotherly, man. You know, you, your arms is is in uh, 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 your um, what do you say? Uh, charity, man. You know why? Because it covers a multitude of sins. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You know, you know, uh, 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 delving in the uh, uh, the secrets, the secrets of the Lord, man. The parables of the Lord. Okay, this is what laying, you know, and so the Lord can give you that double dose of faith, man. All right? So, well, guess what? You land up in that treasure, the treasury, you know what I'm saying? You'll be able to pull from that treasury of faith in these times, man. These times to come, man. All right? And that just let us know. That just let you know, man, you're not in the right mindset, man. You're not in the right, you're not in the right season, man. You're in the season of, 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 of prosperity, you know, and while we in the season of mourning. Cause we we not in our rightful our rightful place yeah, as a, right as owners on this earth, man. <laughs> you know, we understand that. You know, but you wanted to get that last one twenty one too. Yep. Go ahead, and then we can go back. Matthew chapter six and verse twenty one. Mm -hmm. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. That's it, man. Where your treasure is, where your mindset is, man. You know, and, and what what you putting your you know your 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 spirit and your attention to. Guess what? That's where your mind gonna be at, man. Mm -hmm. So if your spirit is in the world, it's like if your if your you know everything that you do is in the world and you investing all the worldly things, man. Guess what? That's where your mind gonna be, man. All right. And while you're not paying attention and your mind is off, guess what? The Lord gonna come and you ain't expecting the Lord to come. He's gonna creep upon your ass like a thief in the night, man. <laughs> okay. So it's best. You know that you you lay up your treasures within the heaven, man, within the spirit, man. Okay. That's what the Lord is looking at, man. We can go on back, you know, uh -huh. and get these points out, you know, because it's the atonement, man. You know, this is what we doing now, man, making our bodies a living sacrifice. We could be in the crib sleeping, you know. We could be in the crib, you know, uh, doing other things, man. But but we delving in the spirit, man, through the spirit power. You how about shimmy shy, man? You know what I'm saying? We could be doing, you laying up being a nobody, man. Okay? Uh, uh, doing nothing. All right? Or we can use this Day of Atonement to just sit around and, you know, oh, woe is me. You know? <laughs> nah, man. We got to get up, man. Go Get up and go walk, man. Get out of nature, man. You know what I'm saying? Get away from your woman. All right? Get away from your children. Get away from your mother. All right? Get away from the world, man. All right? And delve into, into the spirit, man. Things that could possibly hold you back. Right. You know, and, and these things, you know, you coming out here in nature, you know, you supping with the Lord, you supping with your brother, you know what I'm saying? And righteousness. You know, what good is the you know what uh, you know, you can't ask for more, man. You know? It's a beautiful, a beautiful thing. Yeah, pa, man. All right. You gotta be, bro. We can go on back to uh in the GNT. Uh what was I? Uh, mm -hmm. I was fifty-eight. Come in the GNT. I think I end off in verse 6. Uh, yeah, come Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 6. You got it. In the GNT, it says, the kind of fasting I want is this. That's, and this is the Lord that's going to let you know the kind of fasting he want, man. Go ahead. Remove the chains of oppression and the yoke of injustice. That's it, man. We're breaking down the strongholds, man. <laughs> you know, with the Esau Edom and with the these so-called leaders within Israel, man. That's putting heavy burdens uh, with on the pe with the people, man, and they not even doing it. You got it, be bro. And let the oppressor go free. That's it, man. You got it. Share your food with the hungry, mm -hmm. and open your homes to the homeless poor. Mm -hmm. And and we coming upon those times, man. Okay, well, 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 she, hey, brothers, are gonna need to stay with brothers. You know that's why it's important for you. You know, right now, while we have this liberty, you know what I'm saying, or whatever it is, man, become. Closer to your brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? Come closer to your brothers, man. Within that camaraderie and and, and, and and gain some camaraderie amongst the brotherhood, man. Because guess what? We're, we're going to need that in these times that's coming, man. You know, because you don't know. It might be you the one that need to be in the house. Need to be put up in the house. You see what I'm saying? And by you not being a brother, 
You see what I'm saying? Hey, you distance from a brother. You know, you you know, you distance yourself away. You know? That's why the Lord gave us the brotherhood, man. <laughs> okay? Hey, you gotta use that brotherhood to your advantage, man. Not to a disadvantage, man. We can't, we all coming out of the world, man. So we all vulnerable. We all fucking, you know, ain't used to certain things, you know, but we come in this motherfucker, you know, we coming to serve the Lord, man. You know, so we gonna have to put ourselves in uncomfortable situations, man. You know what I mean? Within the brotherhood for the sacrifice and for the betterment of the brotherhood, man. Okay? Can I get the word comrade for you? Comrade. Oh, you got it, big bro. Let me uh go to it. Uh, you in the Yep. Mm. Just a few that, that, that stood out to me. Uh-huh, go ahead. Of course, companion, <laughs> yeah. friend, and colleague. That's it. But the one that stuck out to me was fellow worker, workmate, fellow soldier. Because we, we all working towards a goal, and it's all a, a common goal. At That's, the end it. Of the day. That's it. That's it. That's it. And we, and we can't forget that, you know, because we tend to forget that, Same you know, though. in our own little lives. You know, it's, all right, our eyes are single. You know, we, that's what Paul said, you know, that we all speak the same thing. Mm -hmm. And not just speak it, live it, man. Right. We got to live it, man. You know what I mean? Not just speaking it, man. We got to live this thing, man. Okay? We comrades in this thing, man. Okay? So we, we can't just talk that shit, man. We got to be about it, man. Yep. All right? It's time out for all that weak shit, man. We got to put off that weak nature, man. All right? And, and show yourselves to be men. Okay? And with that, man, we got to we gotta be uncomfortable, man. Okay? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be uncomfortable having to go pick up a brother early in the morning. It's going to be uncomfortable to pick up the phone with a brother calling you late and you see the call. It's going to be uncomfortable to let a brother in your house, man. It's going to be uncomfortable to feed a brother, man. But guess what? You do that shit, man. And you watch the Lord make his work and show his work, man. Upon you, man. And that's going to take faith, man. All right? It's going to take trust in the Lord, man. You doing your part. The Lord going to do his, man. You got some more. Hey, the, one of these, it says, one who shares the same room, man. We share in the same room, man. Why? Because yeah, I was shy saying, sharing that same room, man. He said, he, he, he come make you, and make you a boat with him, man. Uh, okay? The Lord is sharing that house, man. With us, man. Within our minds and within the brotherhood. Okay? We ought not to forget that, man. Okay, we can go back. You wanted some more in that comrade? That was a beautiful. That was, that was mighty. Man. That was beautiful, man. No, go ahead. Because we're going to go all the way down to verse 11 and then we can... Get other scriptures. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 7. Mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. What it, it says, share your, share food, your food. food with the hungry. <laughs> what that comrade just say? You know, one who shares with others, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Through the spirit, bro. And that food is not just physically, man. Hey, that's spiritual and mental food, man, as well, too. You know, you can't be with a brother, man, and you know that brother is struggling, man, and you see him struggling on certain things, and you done been through it, and you not lending a hand to help this brother. And on the flip side, you can't be a nigga, you know, to, to, to tear that brother down, man, and, and not, you know, accept that brother's help. Okay? You can't do that, man. All through the spirit, man. You cannot do that, man. If a brother is trying to help you, you know, then you need to take that brother's help. Vice versa, man. Okay? Because what? We sh what? What did the scripture say? Iron sharpeneth iron, man. Uh. Now, a cloth can clean, but it won't be able to sharpen the iron, man. Meaning what? Yeah. Some brothers, you know, has a weak account in this and that, but you have to be ironing this thing, man. Through the spirit, though. Not physical attributes. But through the spirit, you have to be iron. When we all trying to become, you know, dipped into that fire, man, as that gold, you know what I'm saying? Tried into that fire, man, where we dumping off, the Lord is dumping off all those impurities, man, of us, man. Okay? And, 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 and cutting off that weak nature. Okay? So, yeah, man, if a brother is willing to be there with you and help you along your journey, mentally, physically, and uh, spiritually, Man, you take that brother's help. And you got to, don't be a nigga and not help your brother. You know what I'm saying? You can't see your brother going through some 
uh, uh, need clothes and then you and you sit back and, and don't get them clothes. You ask him, is he all right? You can't see a brother who who, who needs some money because he low, you know, he he ain't got no job and say, man, I got something. I try to do this for you, you know. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? We got to share as comrades. We got to share things with one another, man. You got something? Nah, I was gonna get Matthew 25. I'm going to how you have a shot. Pretty much said the same thing. Mm -hmm. Feed, feed, pretty much uh, clothe the, the poor and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Going into let's get it. I mean, teaching our people the truth. Hey man, and all we, that. we 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 man, we here. <laughs> right, so yeah. Matthew what? Matthew 25. Bro, we we hey, bro, what we got to do right now? You know what I'm saying? All right. You know what I mean? Let's, let's just all through the spirit, bro. You know? Yeah, this made me think of that. You got it. Where you want to start at? 35. Mm -hmm. So this is Matthew chapter 25 and verse 35. Go ahead, bro. It says, For I was in hunger and you gave me meat. Oof. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. That's beautiful. I was a stranger and you took me in. Mm -hmm. Naked and you clothed me. Mm. I was sick and you visited me. Mm -hmm. I was in prison and you came unto me. Mm -hmm. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, whence saw we thee? We mm -hmm. thee and hunger and fed thee or thirsty and gave thee drink so the lord has given us the itinerary man you know he's saying look man this hey, that's why he said then shall the righteous answer him and say because the righteous is going to be in a contrite spirit in a, in a in a, in a <laughs> humble spirit i'm like dang i didn't even know that was you lord you know you was just doing it why because that was who you were mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying that's because of who you were man the Lord put that spirit on you to be that type of brother, man. You see what I'm saying? That's why he asked him, damn, when we do that, Lord? I don't remember doing it, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Directly. <laughs> but it's going to go into it. Go ahead, big bro. That's Try. a beautiful scripture. Uh, Read 37 again. Con. Matthew 25 and verse 37. Mm -hmm. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee mm -hmm. and hunger? Mm -hmm. And fed thee mm -hmm. or thirsty mm -hmm. and gave thee drink. Right, because uh, uh, he said the righteous, but the unrighteous is going to say, yeah, 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 I did that. Yeah, 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 that was me. You know what I'm saying? He going to be all proud and shit, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is. Go ahead, me, bro. Verse 38. Mm -hmm. When saw we thee, a stranger, mm -hmm. and took thee in, mm -hmm. or naked, or clothed thee, mm -hmm. or when saw we sick, or in prison, and came unto thee. Mm -hmm. Verse 40. And the king shall answer and say unto them, mm -hmm. Verily I say unto you, mm -hmm. and, and as much as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, these my brethren, mm -hmm. ye have done it unto me. You see that, man? So the Lord is showing us and giving us an example on how the brotherhood, you know, shows himself. You know? Why? Because this is exactly what he done mm -hmm. with his brothers, man. With his disciples, man. He he show he, what he say he he that is uh the most humblest the most chiefiest, I mm. roughly paraphrasing. Oh, when they was uh pondering on who was the greatest, you know, it's the one who serves yeah, the most. Much you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, we we amongst the brotherhood, man, we got to understand, man. Look here, this is how the Lord is dealing with us, man, through our brothers, you know, and individually as well too. But really, it's going to show how you treat your brother, man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Um, you can you can know all the scriptures in the world. You know, you can know precept after precept. You know, you can you can you can quote a, a scripture and quote the word Z and, you know, <laughs> but what good is all that if you don't have charity? What good is all that if you're not being a brother to your brother, man? What good is it? So. You know, you just going about your everyday life as if you have you they don't have these problems, man. You don't want to address the problem, okay? Hey man, you ain't no different than a nickel. And the Lord gonna deal with you, man. And a hey, Lord willing, and we talking to all of us. I'm talking to myself, starting with myself first and foremost, man. All right. Starting with myself first and foremost, man. Okay? You got a preset? Did you finish this out? Uh, and we no, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Matthew 41. Because you got to get 41. Because <laughs> that's, toward, that's toward, towards the wicked. 
<laughs> this is uh, Matthew chapter uh, 25 mm -hmm. and verse 41. Go ahead and go down. <laughs> because he gave you to the, about the righteous. You see what I'm saying? Now he's giving you, you know, on, 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 on what the Rick, you know, what the wicked going to do. Right. You know, the unrighteous is going to do on the left hand. You know, that, that word left goes into the Greek, goes into what? Sinister, man. Go ahead. Uh, Matthew chapter 25 and verse 41. Mm -hmm. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, mm -hmm. depart from me, you cursed unto everlasting fire, mm -hmm. prepare for the devil and his angels. That's it, man. The Lord going to give you over the saint, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. For I was hungry, mm -hmm. it's like it, for I was and hungry, mm -hmm. and you gave me no meat. That's it. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. Uh huh. I was a stranger, you took me not in. Mm -hmm. Naked, and you clothed me not. Mm -hmm. Sick, and in prison, mm -hmm. and you visited me not. Mm -hmm. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee and hunger, or a thirst, or a stranger, <laughs> or naked, mm -hmm. or sick? Or in prison and did not minister unto them. And they gonna play stupid. You see what I'm saying? They gonna play stupid, man. These are gonna be the ones that 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 said, Lord, Lord, haven't we not prophesied in your name and cast out devils or whatever? Then you're gonna say, What? Get away from me. I never knew you. All right? Ye that work at the nick of thee, man. All right? Why was you as being a nigga to your brother, man? You seen your brother, you know, uh 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 in need and in want, and you ain't help him. And it's physically and spiritually, man. You know? Quick break. Uh, finish this out. I got you. And then you get your break. I got you. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, emergency? Go ahead, go ahead. If it's an emergency. No, no, if it's an emergency. I can wait on it. All right, come on, come on. I can wait on it. Mm -hmm. uh, got Matthew it. chapter 25. We here all day, all right? Uh, <laughs> Good. And verse uh, 44, I believe. Mm -hmm. It says, Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee and hungered, or thirst, or a stranger, or, or naked, or sick? Or in prison, and did not minister unto thee. Mm -hmm. Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, and as much as ye did it not not to one of the least of these, you did it not to me. That's it. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but for so like it, but the righteous into life eternal. That's it, man. You know. And now the Lord is is showing you the difference in the mindset, you know, in the conduct. Of a righteous brother and an unrighteous brother, man. From a, a one third or 144,000 elect to a two third, man. And a heathen. Okay? The Lord is showing us the difference, man. And He's showing us, hey, through the brotherhood, this is how we're going to, you know, obtain, you know, one of the ways that we're going to obtain His His good graces, man. Huh. You know? You want to get your quick preset? Yeah. Right. John 13, starting at verse 33. But the points is in 34 and 35. Okay, come on. Hand your business, man. Hey, hey, swing your sword. <laughs> you got it? Come on. So this is John chapter 13, verse 33. Mm -hmm. Little children, yet a little while I am with you. Mm -hmm. You shall seek me. And as I said unto the Jews, whither I go, you cannot come. So now I say unto you, mm -hmm. a new commandment. Mm -hmm. I give unto you mm -hmm. that you love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. You see that, man? Hey, the way the Lord loved us, man, we got to, he showed us an example on how to love each other, man. Because we have a wicked ass example on how to really love a brother, man. Growing up in the world. A lot of brothers got, you know, they want to harp on how things used to be, uh, the reason why, you know, Slocky, the reason why they are the way they are now. You see what I'm saying? But it's because, no, we got to break that shit, man. The Lord gave us the ability to tread on them scorpions, man, and to tread up on them lies, man, because we was taught we, and, and brought up. We was taught and brought up to be a nigga to our brother, man, mm -hmm. like ta how Cain was to Abel, like right. how Esau is to Jacob, man. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And we can't be in that same spirit, you know? Don't have nobody walk up behind me, God. you know? But yeah, you know? Uh, we can't be in that spirit, man. We can't be so comfortable and then uh, to what we used to do in the world, bro. Yep. In the world, we was lazy as fuck. In trying the world, we was being, them. yeah, being a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Trying to run, like you say, trying to run away from uh, uh, responsibility and accountability, man. You know, in the world, we was saying, well, shit, am I my brother's keeper? <laughs> we were saying the same thing 
you know, that 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 uh, uh Kane saying, man. And my mom's brother keep being a smart ass. Right. You know? Yes, you are, motherfucker. You are your brother's keeper. You see what I'm saying? And to the best of our ability, mm-hmm. even though we in the flesh, to the best of our ability, we need to understand what the brotherhood need, man. To the best of our ability, bro. I ain't saying you're going to be on top of it, you know, but, you know, call a brother. Go with a brother. Go ahead. You got it. I also want to bring up the word new. Mm-hmm. Listen, the, the, the Lord, Yahweh said, mm-hmm. a new commandment I've given to you. It's not necessarily new. Come. It just renew like that's... you remember earlier. <laughs> Come. You're that's right, renewable. bro. And that's a part of you growing up. Mm-hmm. It's a, the part of, a part of you growing up is becoming a brother to your brother. That the Lord waking that up out of you. That's it, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's beautiful. Tough. That is a beautiful point you just made, man. That's tough. You know? Because we, we got to grow up. We have to grow up, man. You know, we got a lot of brothers that that, that don't want to accept responsibility and accountability, man. Mm-hmm. Nah, bro, you gotta grow up. The Lord see you, man. Speaking to myself first and foremost. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you can't speak without speaking to yourself. You know. You got more on that? Kind verse thirty-five. Mm-hmm. John thirteen and verse thirty-five. Mm-hmm. Then it off. It says, "By this shall all men know <laughs> that ye are my disciples, mm-hmm. if you." If you have love one to another, yeah, kind. So yeah, if just the average person, uh, they just see brothers, you know, being brotherly or mm-hmm. giving out charity, whatever, however it may be, you know, even even random people walking mm-hmm. around, they just see a, they see brothers teaching, you know, mm-hmm. and not arguing or not looking like no nigga, right. having that perception that um you move differently. That's it. People are going people are going to see you and see you in a different light and stuff like that, you know. Mm-hmm. That's so true, man. Like people going to know the Lord based on how you tr- uh, treat each other, man. You have the quorum on. Yeah, you know. And this ain't no fucking homo shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's Because that's how a nigga going to look look at it. Oh, that nigga must be gay, son. You know what I'm saying? That nigga must be... Nah. Why? Because I'm hugging my brother and loving my brother, you know, with no type of uh, 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 fucking, uh, uh, you know, uh, damn, I hope they don't... Uh, Hit this motherfucker, but still, yeah. you're no type of uh, you know uh, uh, A B C D, you know, community type, you know, uh, uh, feelings for each other, man. No, we're righteous men, you know, we're actual actual men, like that one creep on a common boy. Oh man, y'all must be such and such, man. Uh, uh, hugging each other like that, man. Really, you know, on one of our common boys one day, mm-hmm. you know, come on, man. A brother, it's it's to the point where now a brother can't even hug each other. We can't even love each other in public, without a uh, without a motherfucker, you know, thinking something, man. If I may, just mm-hmm. to prove, I had just a, a further example in that the David and Jonathan situation. Yeah, exactly. You look in the world, <laughs> people that look at sports, people that went to uh, mm-hmm. military together, mm-hmm. they hold a certain type of love. They don't hold exactly. towards their family because exactly, they went yeah. through certain type of shit together. That's it, man. You know? That's it. And that's how we hold dear to each other, man. We going through the fire mm-hmm. <laughs> together, bro. We going through the fire together, man. And through that fire, man, hey, the, hey, hey, shit, everybody, we understand this ain't meant for everybody. Facts. You know? And the Lord woke us up and called us, you know what I'm saying, to this thing, man. And we're trying to make an our calling an election sure, man. Yes, yeah. Right. And, and, and what other way is to do it with your brother? Uh-huh. You know? <laughs> that's it. You know, and so we trying to become brotherly in this thing, man. What in the world that you you can't be a brother in, man. You can't let your guard down. Mm-hmm. You can't be vulnerable. You know, you can't be vulnerable in the world, man. But the Lord showing you, that you're vulnerable to your brother is showing that you can be vulnerable to the Lord. That's it. That's how we look at each other, man. Mm-hmm. Let's go back. I think we were still in Isaiah 58 and the GNT. Yeah. Because I just wanted to go to 11 and then... And then um, we can get the other ones and you know. But this is the mindset we need to be in, man. Back, you know, to, to you know, even though we, we didn't sway off, we was on really on the same, you know, on the same uh, mm-hmm. uh, subject, you know, because this is a part of the atonement, man. You know, and I do want to get that word penance before we leave, too. Okay. But go ahead. We can start, uh, I think it was at eight. eight, yeah. Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 8 in the GNT. Mm-hmm. Then my favor will shine on you like the morning sun. Mm. Could you read seven again and then? Give a priest. Yeah. Okay, uh, Isaiah chapter 58 and verse seven. Share your food. In the GNT. In the GNT. Mm-hmm. Share your food with the hungry and open your homes to the homeless poor. Mm-hmm. Give clothes to those 
who are nothing, just like you, who have nothing to wear <laughs> and do not refuse to help your own relatives. Mm -hmm. And uh, to my relatives in the spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? Even though we going to help our relatives as well, too, you know. But like Yahweh Shai said, man, hey, this is my mother. This is my brother. You about to pull it up? I was going to get the word relative because... Oh, see what it, yeah, see what it said. You, you pretty much going to say it. It said the, the men and kinsmen, mm -hmm. kinswoman, uh, person in the same family, mm -hmm. connected blood, having reference. Okay. So uh, pretty much uh, having something in common. Yeah. Yeah, because that, you know, that's how a family used to be. Having a mutual relationship. That's it, man. A family used to be on one on one consent. That's why you had, when you go into these old, uh, like, Italian uh, uh, neighborhoods or whatever, or when you go back to Italy, whatever it is, these old movies, you know, they'll have, oh, this is the uh, uh, Petonia family. Mm -hmm. Or this is the, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> why? Because they're on the one consent, man. Yep. You know, if they got a family business, then they're going to build up that business within that family, man. This family is known for, you know, olive oil. This family is known for, you know, uh, 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 this and that, whatever, whatever it may be, you know. Hey, man, uh, bread or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, hey, this, hey, we growing up in the family business, man, we in the business of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? We growing up in this family business, man. Okay. You got you you got something else? This is uh, standing in relation to something else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then another one that says... Uh, not uh, absolute or existing by itself. That's it, man. You know? And you don't have to be from the same fa uh, family for a brother to become a friend. You know what the scriptures say? Well, a brother is, a friend has become dear to you more than like a brother, roughly mm -hmm. paraphrasing. You see what I'm saying? Show himself to be more of a brother than a, you know, a brother, roughly paraphrasing. Shit, the worldly uh, saying, blood is, mm -hmm. blood. blood is sticking in. Well, blood, <laughs> blood is sticking. Some people say blood ain't always sticking. Yeah, Some it people. ain't. I know personally, <laughs> man. Yeah, for a fact. I know personally, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, we especially if we got a big family, big families and mm -hmm. nowadays tend to be more separated more so than more smaller in their family. For sure. You know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, we don't want to digress. Facts. Go ahead. Uh, Isaiah chapter 58. In verse eight. eight in the GNT, then my favor will shine on you like, like the morning sun, mm -hmm. and your wounds will be quickly healed. Mm -hmm. I will always be with you to save you. My presence will protect you on every side. Mm -hmm. When you pray, I will answer you. When you call to me, I will respond. Hey man, that's a beautiful. Hey, that's the Lord has given us the itinerary on how to deal with your brothers right there, man. You see what I'm saying? That means the Lord is going to answer your prayers when you fast until the Lord for a particular reason or whatever it is. He is going to answer that. You see what I'm saying? Hey, there's nothing impossible when it comes to the Lord, man. You know? The Lord, hey, he, if, he, if, you, if, he, if he find favor in you, man, trust me, man. He going to let his presence be known. Mm -hmm. You know? For sure. You can read on down. Continuing on in uh, Isaiah 58 and verse 9, GNT. It says... If you put an end to oppression. Verse 9? Yeah. We was already in verse 9. I just split off for some reason. Okay, cool. If you put an end to oppression, to Where every you gesture. I'll show you on my screen. Like, verse 9. Oh, and then it split off. okay, okay, okay. Could you just start at 9? Yeah, I got you. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 58 and verse 9. GNT. Like when you pray, I will answer you. When you call to me, I will respond. <laughs> Go ahead. If you put an end to oppression, to every gesture of of contempt mm -hmm. and to every evil word if you give food to the hungry and satisfy those who are in need mm. then the darkness around you will turn to brightness of noon that's it the man brightness of noon. <laughs> that's beautiful man that is the brightness of noon man where the noon that's where the highest point where the sun is in the sky man mm -hmm. where it's, it's at its brightest <laughs> you feel what i'm saying uh -huh. meaning the lord it's what it say, Isaiah 60. Arise in the shine, you know, the lightness, brightness has come. Bright as heaven could be. Yeah, you know, and now we're not in darkness, man. We're not in gross darkness as as the people is, man. Why? Because Yahweh Shai has shined upon us, man. You know, why? Because we're showing the same attributes of our Lord, man. You know? That's it. Go ahead. That's where you said that, said mm -hmm. the brightness of noon. noon yeah. The, 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 high, the highest when it's point. the highest point. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's right there. Right. Yeah, yeah, and that's Yahweh Shai. You know, Yahweh Shai is uh, exemplary of that, man. Sure. All right? 
And we must follow that example. Like Paul said, be ye followers of me as I am of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. You know? Go ahead. Isaiah 58 and 11 mm -hmm. in GNT. And I will always guide you mm. and satisfy you with good things. Mm -hmm. I will keep you strong and well. Mm -hmm. You will be like a, a garden that has plenty of water. Mm -hmm. Like a spring of water that has, that never goes dry. What's that in Psalms? You know? Like a tree planted by rivers of water, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Lord, because you, cause you being watered by the Lord. You're being watered by this word, man. And then you're showing yourself to be a faithful man. All right, so the Lord is going to protect you. He's going to, he's going to sup with you, man. All right, he's going to be with you, man. In your downtime and when you in, in, in your ups. Okay? In your lows and your highs, man. You know? I, I, I'm a testimony of it, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, every brother got their own walk, of course. But you know, yeah, man, the Lord gonna be there for you, man, mm -hmm. and He gonna show you He there for you by your brothers. Yep. Go ahead. Mhm. Mm uh, uh, might as well read twelve, and then that'll be it. Yep. Isaiah fifty-eight and twelve, GNT. Mhm. Mm your people will rebuild what has long been in ruins, mm -hmm. building again on the old foundations. Mm -hmm. You will be known as the people who rebuilt the wall, mm. who restored the ruined houses. That's it, man. Okay. And that's the Lord dealing with us, man. That house, you know, it brick, brick by brick, it, us being the lively stones, man. Right. All right. Going back to the temple, man, which is our, our, our sacrifice, which is this, which is where we make our sacrifice at within ourselves, man. Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, it's a couple more scriptures. Um... We went to Matthew 6, right? Mm -hmm. uh, let's go to Sirach. Uh, Sirach 4 and 34, start at 24. Let me get it. Them kids over there. Mm -hmm. 34 and 24. You got to be, bro. We can read down to 26. Come on, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus or Syrac, chapter 34, and verse 24. Mm -hmm. It says, When one prayeth and another curseth, whose voice would the Lord hear? Mm -hmm. He that washeth himself after the touching of a dead body, if he touch it again, what availeth? Washing. All right, what's the point of, of <laughs> washing your hands and after you touch a dead body for you to go back and touch that shit again, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the Lord is explaining to you in this, in this, in this, yeah. in this, you know what I mean? In this sense, you know, and it's, he's trying to correlate it to, you know, fasting, man. You going to continue to be unclean if you touch that dead body once again. Go ahead. So it's explaining in verse, verse 26. Uh, 26. Mm -hmm. Cyrus 34 and 26. So is it with the man that fasteth for his sins mm -hmm. and goeth again and doeth the same? Mm -hmm. Who will hear his prayer? Mm -hmm. Or what does his humbling profit him? Right, what does humbling yourself or fasting profit you if you're going to go back and do this shit again? You know? And it's not our intent to do it again. And we might slip up. But the Lord knows our intentions, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's what matters unto the Lord, man. Okay, are you fighting? All right? Are you fighting? All right? Are you working on yourself? Are you being a brother? The Lord will give you the spirit, and you know what I'm saying, to deal with those things, man. That's why he said uh, 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 a lot of these demons don't go out by what? Fasting and praying. Only by fasting and praying, roughly paraphrasing that. You know? We have to pray without ceasing, man. Okay? Let me see what I got in here. Come on. Uh, we gonna get a couple more, man. We gonna get out of here, dog. Um, we could get Isaiah 57 and 15. Hey, Salaki, man, I, don't, I ain't got no good memory, so <laughs> I'm, I gotta write these things down, you know. You said 57 and 15? Yes, sir. Yeah, because this is what the Lord is looking for, man. You know, the Lord is looking for the, a certain spirit within his men. 
Okay. You got to be, bro. This is Isaiah chapter 57, starting at verse 15. You got to speak up to them kids that came over here. Con, con. Mm -hmm. It says, For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth inter so like inhabitant eternity, mm -hmm. whose name is holy. Mm -hmm. I dwell in the high and holy place mm -hmm. with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit. Hey, the Lord is de he's dwelling with those of a contrite and a holy spirit, man. He's not going to dwell and deal with, you know, those who, who have in a proud spirit, man. Mm -hmm. That's not who the Lord is dealing with, man. All right? So you must be sincere in this thing, man. Okay? Read on. Verse 16. Oh, well, um... That's all you want to never. Mm-hmm, come. Getting the word contract. Contract, yeah, get the word contract. Yeah, you know, because that's what the Lord is on, man. You know? You pulling it up in the uh, Edema? Mm-hmm. Contract. That's, Let me a, pull that's it. a few good ones in here. Mm-hmm. You got all you right. whenever you're ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm going to get this first one. It says... Read all of it. I got you. In the Edema? Yeah. Yeah, read all of it. <laughs> it said, broken the spirit by a sense of guilt. Mm-hmm. Content stricken. Mm -hmm. uh, and resolved to, to not sin again. Mm -hmm. Hey, it said, broken in spirit by a sense of guilt, man. You know, meaning what? We feel bad, you know, for how we made the Lord feel, man. You know? And the Lord, the irony in the Lord, irony in the Lord is he'll give you uh, a situation in your life and he'll show you how he felt, mm -hmm. you know, and he'll make you feel the same way, man, by giving us women. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And our women's, like you said, in Hosea, man, Hosea was giving a woman of whoredom, you know what I'm saying, as a harlot. And guess what? Our, now our women are hollows, man. And now we understand how the Lord felt when we went off, man. That's why brothers be saying the Lord the King of Irony. He is, he, you he know. Make, he make you learn your lessons to. Yeah. You know? Hell yeah. <laughs> what, what 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 good? What other good way to know or uh, learn your lesson is if you go through with That's somebody? You know like what I mean? <laughs> so we got empathy and sympathy for the Lord, man. We know how to what the Lord going through, what, what the Lord went through with our ass, man. Mm -hmm. Our whole ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, fucking around. But, you know, hey, nevertheless, we in the spirit, man. You know? Huh. Now we understand, man, what the Lord went through because he given us the lifestyle of what he went through, man, on how we, Israel, continue constantly, man, was playing the hard lot, you know, to him, man. You know? We, want, we got more on that? Yes, yeah, it's regretful, full of regret, mm -hmm. remorse, uh... It was one of them. Let me get this last one. Mm -hmm. It says, You was in the church, church Latin in a figure, figurative mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. Crushed in the spirit by a sense of sin. Yeah, man. <laughs> that's it, man. And that's how we feel, man. Hey, we was an adulterer in the world, man. The Lord uh, 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 brought us into this truth, man. Now we, we despise this shit, man. Like, damn, I can't believe we was, you know. But we had to go through that, man. You know? That's it, man. Hey, that's the spirit that the Lord putting us through, man. You know? <laughs> that's crazy, man. It's, it's crazy how the Lord will show us certain things, man. And it's like, nah, it's like, oh, man, we man, we understand, man. You know? We understand, man. Uh, all right, well, you got anything else, Akia? Uh, I ain't never thought about this word. It says contrition. Mm-hmm. Contrition, yeah. yeah. It's contrite. Yeah. Go ahead, we can get it. Brokenness of the spirit for having a given offense, mm -hmm. deep sorrow for sin. Uh yeah. Worn. That's it. You, you we, we we feel sorry. That's what repentance is, man. Hey, which brings us to the word penance. penance. You know, we said we wanted to get it. You know. The word penance. The P P E N A N C E. Oh, you know, man. and then we can kind of we can end on that. You know, because this is what the atonement brings, man. The atonement brings a... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is what the atonement brings, man. It's a sense of guilt, you know, to, to reflect on how we made the Lord feel, man. To reflect on our ways, man, so we can, you know, uh, go into, you know, the day after, you know, uh, uh, you know, how we supposed to be, you know, walk, you know. You got it, bro. This is the word penance, and then we can close up on this. Now, unless you got something else. Uh, that's a, this is the All word right. penance. Mm -hmm. In the Edomon, it says, 
religious discipline mm. or self mortification. Self mortification, man. As click a token. Click on that word mortification. I got you. All right, and then go to define. Don't go to the etymology. Go to define. Okay, I got you. You see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read that. Embarrassment, mm -hmm. subduing, humiliation. Where you shame. at? Yeah, it says, it says the great embarrassment and shame. You know, because that's how we should be feeling. That's Going true repentance. Yeah. <laughs> it said the action of subduing one's bodily desires. Oh, yeah, that's you see that, man? You know, that's true repentance, man. That's going through the fire. Mm -hmm. You know, like you said, the straits, man. You know, mortifying our members. I was going to say, mm -hmm. I was going to say either probably dying mm -hmm. or cutting something off. That's it. That, that root word, yeah. Mortify. Mortif yeah, that's yeah. it. To die, man. More you mortifying your members, man. You, which really you cutting off and putting off the world. You know? That's it, man. Okay? That's the mentality that we need to be in. I right, keep going. You read that again? Uh, I was gonna get I was gonna get more in penance, but let me get that. Yeah, in penance. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I was saying read penance again. Uh, religious. It says uh Because I wanted to get a certain word. It says religious discipline mm -hmm. or self mortification mm -hmm. as a a token or a sign of repentance mm -hmm. and as atonement for some sin. That's it. The atonement. I wanted to bring that penance up because it had right. the word atonement in there, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And this is what, and we are in the penitentiary right now, man. You Literally. know, we are in penitentiary right now. And that's what the true uh, being in a rehabilitated supposed to make you feel, man. Feel sorry for the, the, for the things that you've done. So we are in a penitentiary, and this is our hell right now, man. We're in prison, you know? Go ahead. One of the words uh, from the New Oxford American Dictionary, it says voluntary self-punishment. Yes, it is. <laughs> like, it's yeah. other Jake Hill just trying to run away, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Trying to, do, trying to still do their own thing. But yeah, we, 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 we willingly, yeah, in. we turn ourselves in, man, you know? Hey, <laughs> but, but we got a lawyer now, yeah. you know? And our lawyer is Yahweh Shai, man, okay? And Yahweh Shai is there to uh, 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 hey, say, you know, you, we got you, man. We, we, you got, hey, you, you got free free bail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, just come serve me, bro. You know, which the Lord chose us, man. Right. You know, and the Lord chose us. You know, he randomly picked, you know how lawyers get a case, you know what I'm saying, and do it pro bono, and they look at somebody's case and see some uh, uh, chinks in the case mm -hmm. to where they like, oh, man, he was wrongfully, hey, let me take this case. You know what I'm saying? And see if I can get him off this, uh, uh, exonerate him from, from this murder or whatever it, it may be. You know, the Lord looking at it. Lord, that's what the Lord did to us. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we about to close up. This shit getting a little crazy out here. You know, but, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the point. You know, like I said, we in penitentiary, man. You know what I'm saying? We in penitentiary right now, man. And with this penitentiary, you know, uh, that we are in, we're using this you know, this time that the Lord is, which is the grace period, you know, to change and to get right. So when we come out of this, you know, penitentiary, man, we'll be a new person, man. We trying to get out there. We trying to get good time. Yeah, we trying to, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, the Lord speeding up the time for the elect's sake. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he going he gonna to speed up our sentence, you know. God. So uh, you got anything else? Hey, with problem. that. We're going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, All right, man, hey, on to the next, man. This is an atonement, you know, this year, man. And hey, 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 this is just the attitude, the mentality that we're supposed to be in, you know. Hey, not just now, you know. This is supposed to be an everyday lifestyle for us, man, to the best of our ability. You know, Lord willing, man, we be at our number, man. So, okay. hey, make sure you make your atonement, man. And, uh, hey. On to the next. Shalom. Shalom.